writers get asked a lot where we get our. I, I can't talk today. Writers. <laughs> accurate representation. Also a little racist. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. Hey Rebels, the winner of the Cinder Giveaway from two weeks ago was Andrew Patterson. The book is already on its way to him. Writers get asked a lot where we get our inspiration from, and the truth is, a lot of places. Sometimes when we're watching a TV show, we'll think about what it would have been like if the character had made a different decision, and that can lead into a whole different idea. A lot of ideas are derived from dreams. Twilight for entrance, in entrance, also known as instance. Instance, okay. <laughs> entrance is instance in Mandarin. <laughs> like the book that I'm writing right now came from one of Kaylee's dreams. We get a lot of ideas from what if questions asking what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, that leads you to a sometimes cool story. <laughs> Unless you're, what if, is like, what if snails can talk. Um, there's a movie about that. What if snails could talk and wanted to race? <laughs> okay. So someone already had that idea. Yeah. I get ideas from things that I like. <laughs> that sounds weird. But like stuff that I think about a lot. Well, I was going to say, like, pulling pieces from a whole bunch of different things and putting them together. So that's kind of similar. Similar. But, like, I think about um, dogs a lot because I'm obsessed with them. And I have a dog story bouncing around in my head. So that's one thing. And I think about if regular people have superpowers a lot, which is something I've written about. It's a legit lot. <laughs> Sometimes I'll see someone and I'll just kind of start making a story up for them in my head and I think a lot of writers do this. Um, and that can lead to a story. I think sometimes they just come out of the blue like you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you're like, oh, dragons are cool. Let's write about them. Or in Sarah's case, you can just hear someone say the phrase, dragons are people too. And a whole book comes from that. Yeah. So I was writing a YA urban fantasy and I was asking my best friend um, what is a comp title for this book because she had read it and she just goes, dragons are people too. And then I was like, I don't think I've read that one. And she's like, oh, I just made it up. And then I was like, I can write that. <laughs> Let us know where you get your ideas from for your projects and when it was Shurapa from Bamboo. We will see you <laughs> next week. Go lay down, please. Lay down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone likes some good old fashioned background static. Gives the video character. And the truth is, a lot of places. inspiration from that they write things about like over there over there China Africa What's wrong with you Boise How's that box tasting Jasper? Okay look in the camera <laughs> That was definitely the camera and Are you having drugs? I don't know if I should say and because I don't know where I left that it was usable. And <laughs> <laughs> we will see you. <laughs> we'll just see you. We'll just see you. We'll see you next week.